what's up guys welcome back to my channel so you guys are probably wondering why i look like this right now i literally have no makeup on and i have a sweatshirt on with my hood on the reason for that is because i was in the mood to film a video and my hair looks awful right now so i just decided to put my hood on i've actually worn my hood up in another video that i did last year but yeah anyways it is currently at 10 58 p.m. right now so it's almost 11 o'clock at night so basically the video that i'm filming today i was actually inspired by emma chamberlain's recent video which was talking about my feelings at 2 a.m so i just thought that i would do that but i'm not doing it at 2 a.m because i honestly don't even know if i'm gonna be awake at 2 a.m i probably will i mean let's be honest after this i'm probably gonna lay in bed and watch shameless i just started that show on netflix recently and i am obsessed but yeah the other day i asked you guys on my instagram story to leave me talk for a video and I got a lot of responses so I'm just going to be answering them in this video and whenever I was watching Emma Chamberlain's video I was just really inspired and she was drawing while she was talking about her feelings but I am not a good artist so I'm just going to sit here and talk about my feelings. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and I look so bad right now but I honestly don't even care. Okay so the first topic that somebody told me to talk about was how to manage time better to fit school work and YouTube. Okay so my number one recommendation would probably be to like set a time limit for each thing that you're doing because I feel like that really helps you out like say for example you come home from school and you have to do YouTube stuff you have to work on your homework and then you also have to like take a shower and stuff I definitely recommend only spending like a certain amount of time on the things that are like less important like if school is your main priority then I would spend like the most amount of time on schoolwork and if you're in school then school should be your number one priority so just spend like less time on YouTube stuff or like other stuff that you have to do and another tip that I have to manage your time really well is to make a to-do list like that really helps me and I do that all the time like especially on the days that I want to be productive like I just write a list of everything that I have to do and then whenever I get each thing done I will just check it off the list and every single time you check something off of your list you will be a lot more satisfied and you will just feel a lot more productive and I definitely recommend making to-do lists if you don't already do that I'll to come up with video ideas okay so this is a hard one but i definitely recommend just doing stuff that's like trendy on youtube like if you see a trend going around on youtube then i definitely recommend doing it or you can also get inspiration from other youtubers i know that's what i do or sometimes i look up video ideas on pinterest so i'm on pinterest right now and i'm just gonna type in video ideas for lifestyle youtubers because i'm a lifestyle youtuber like if you just scroll through things on pinterest then you will eventually find stuff and also I have a video on like video ideas for youtubers So if you guys need video ideas, then definitely watch that video I'm gonna have it linked down below because I feel like a lot of people don't even know that I made that video because people ask me for video ideas all the time and I made that video and I titled it like video ideas that will help your channel blow up and I did that video like last year and it has a decent amount of views So I definitely recommend watching it because I promise it will help you out someone said talk about long-distance relationships relationships okay so me personally i feel like i can't really touch on this topic too much just because i've never been in a long distance relationship but what i will say is that i know communication is key like if you live like three thousand miles away from your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you don't communicate then how is the relationship even going to work like if you don't talk to each other every single day like at least facetime like i feel like that would definitely help because you're like seeing each other's faces but yeah i just feel like communication is key especially in a long distance relationship obviously it's like the key thing in like every single relationship because if you don't communicate then how is the relationship gonna work out but I feel like it's especially key in like a long distance relationship just because you're like so far apart from each other and obviously you don't see each other every single day so you have to communicate with each other and be honest with each other and like talk every single day but yeah I feel like that's the best advice I can give you I'm sorry if it was like crappy advice but if you're watching this video and you're in a long distance relationship then definitely communicate with your partner insecurities i feel like being insecure is a very sensitive topic but i also feel like it's something that everybody in this world struggles with even if you say you're 100 confident in yourself i feel like you still aren't i don't think everybody's like completely confident and everybody that knows me knows that i am very insecure about myself and i have my reasons why i honestly wasn't even going to talk about this topic in this video just because it is 
such a sensitive topic and I'm talking about things that I don't like about myself and I don't really want to come off as negative on my YouTube channel and that's why I don't like talking about my insecurities. But honestly, what I've learned the past couple years is just to not care what other people think about me. I just feel like it shouldn't matter what other people think about you and it is so hard to like have a positive mindset about your insecurities because I feel like in today's society, it's like especially hard because people walk around and they compare themselves to other people and that's like one of the worst things because trust me guys I used to do that especially in high school I would literally compare myself to all the pretty girls like every single day and high school was like so hard for me because sometimes I was even bullied it's honestly like really hard for me to like talk about this and I don't want to cry because just thinking about like me being bullied in school I don't know, that just makes me wanna cry just thinking about it. Why I never talk about this on my YouTube channel because I literally used to be bullied in school all the time and there was always these mean girls, like this group of mean girls that were always just mean to me and I was never popular in school. I only had like my select group of friends, but I have learned to grow from that and I've learned to like not care what other people think about me because it just doesn't matter. Like I don't even know why it mattered in high school. Like it shouldn't even have mattered in high school because I'm not gonna see them again after high school and I haven't seen any of those girls since. I don't even really talk to anybody that I went to high school with and that's kind of sad. There's maybe a couple people that I still talk to but other than that, like I don't talk to anybody and I don't talk to those mean girls especially. Some of them I am friends with on Facebook, like I'm not gonna lie but yeah, other than that, I don't really talk to them. And no, I'm not gonna say I'm 100% confident in myself because I don't think I ever will be. Like I said, I don't think anybody completely confident in herself but I am a lot more confident in myself than I used to be and to me insecurities is not just about how you look it's also about being insecure about things that you feel like you can't do and stuff like that it's also about believing in yourself and I just feel like if you don't believe in yourself then you're just always going to be insecure like you have to believe in something in order to actually accomplish it okay I've talked about that topic enough I'm going to move on and I'm going to talk about all of your old YouTube friends quitting and this is from my YouTube friend Dakota and oh my gosh we used to FaceTime like every single night and I miss those memories so freaking much. I hardly ever talk to Dakota anymore. I don't talk to Seth anymore that much. There's just so many people that I used to talk to on YouTube that I don't talk to anymore and it makes me so sad and I feel like it's because most of them quit YouTube and like that's what we had in common the most. Like Dakota quit YouTube. Seth doesn't make videos anymore. Like it just makes me so sad. That's honestly all I really have to say about that topic because it just makes me sad thinking about it and I miss all of you guys so much if you're watching this. Okay, so Lucilla said talk about work. So a lot of you guys know that I work at Arby's and if you didn't know that, if you're a new subscriber, then yes, I work at Arby's and I just recently became a shift manager. I was in training for three weeks back in October and I became a shift manager in November after I finished taking my tests. So yeah, I've been a shift manager since November, so only for a couple months. That's pretty much all I have to say about work because I don't really want to talk about work on camera. Lucilla also told me to talk about her. Okay, so basically, Lucilla, if you're watching this video, I really want to make a video with you soon and we need to hang out soon because we haven't hung out in a really long time and I pretty much only ever see you at work and also a lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram asking me to film a video with you and also you need to do like part three of taking my vlog camera and vlogging for a whole day. Somebody actually asked me the other day whenever you were going to make that video, so let's make that happen soon. Okay, so Alex told me to talk about bullying in school and also how it feels when peers finished a four-year degree and you didn't same okay so I pretty much already talked about bullying and me getting bullied in school but I do want to say if you are watching this video and you're getting bullied then you should definitely tell somebody like a teacher or a parent or your principal or a guidance counselor or go talk to somebody in therapy if it's like really bothering you like I definitely recommend talking to somebody about it and it honestly doesn't even have to be a teacher or a parent or 
or anything like that. I could just be your best friend or like somebody that you trust so much. But if you do tell a teacher or a parent, then they can do something about it. So honestly, I would definitely recommend telling a teacher or a parent or like your guidance counselor or something like that. And I know that can be really hard telling a principal, especially if it's like cyberbullying, because I honestly don't even know if they would do anything about it. Because I remember seeing that movie Cyberbullying. It had Emily Osment in it, and she was getting cyberbullied almost to the point where she killed herself. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is definitely just tell somebody about it because whenever you talk about your feelings, it does make you feel a lot better. Now I'm gonna talk about how it feels when peers finish a college degree and you don't. Yeah, that's literally me because I dropped out of college a couple of years ago and I really wished I wouldn't have because I honestly would like to have a better job than I have now like I would honestly like to have a profession but now that I didn't even go to college like I'm honestly probably never gonna have a good job I mean let's be honest I mean I'm not saying the job that I have now isn't a good job but what I am saying is I could have like a way better job that's pretty much what I'm trying to say that I wished I would have finished school favorite small youtubers and big youtubers okay so i'm actually going to be making a video on my top 10 favorite youtubers and that video will be out next week so definitely stay tuned for that so yeah i don't really want to tell you guys any of my favorite youtubers because i'm going to be mentioning them in that video my friend kaylee said how do you help get over your insecurities so i know i already talked about insecurities but i want to talk about it for like another minute so my number one tip to overcome your insecurities is definitely to look in the mirror and just talk to yourself and be more positive say something good about yourself and I feel like that really helps but if you want to overcome your insecurities and you have to be around positive people like people who lift you up and make you happy and give you compliments and stuff like that because I feel like that definitely helps like if you're around negative people all the time and you just have like negative vibes constantly in your life like you do not need that like just push the negativity aside and trust me like I said I know it can be really hard to like cut the negative people out of your life like I have been there and done that but it just really helps if you're around positive people and positive vibes only if you're already like really insecure about yourself and somebody is saying something to make you feel even worse about yourself then you do not need that person in your life like if somebody calls you ugly like just cut them out of your life like you do not need that negativity girl just walk away from whatever they're saying like especially if you don't trust that person whatsoever okay so somebody said to talk about cancer cancel culture. Okay, so cancel culture is something that is so toxic and it's something that shouldn't even exist in today's world. But sadly, it does exist and if you don't know what cancel culture is, I will tell you the definition. On Urban Dictionary, it says a modern internet phenomenon where a person is ejected from influence or fame by questionable action. It is caused by a critical mass of people who are quick to judge and slow to question. It is commonly caused by an accusation whether that accusation has merit or not. It is a direct result of the ignorance of people caused communication technologies outpacing the growth and available knowledge of a person. And there's been a lot of YouTubers who have been canceled and I literally hate the fact that that's even a thing. Like just because somebody does something wrong doesn't mean that they shouldn't be forgiven. It doesn't mean that they should automatically be canceled. Like I don't understand that because all humans make mistakes and that's just not fair. And yes, I know last year the whole James Charles and Tati drama happened and and that was just freaking horrible and everybody was saying that James Charles was canceled but pretty much everybody forgave him eventually and I remember whenever he posted his response video to Tati's video then Tati started getting hate and everybody was saying that she was canceled and that is just so freaking toxic like I literally just don't understand the whole cancel culture thing I don't get why it's a thing it should never be a thing like that is just so toxic and it probably makes people like really hurt like just imagine having a big audience like James Charles does and then getting all these messages on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube like getting all these comments saying all these negative things like that is just not okay like that just drives a person to the edge and it really hurts them and I just don't think that that's okay like cancel culture is just so toxic and like I said I just don't understand why it's even a thing the very last topic that I'm going to be talking about is the Super Bowl performances so honestly I am not even going to lie to you guys I only watched about five minutes of the halftime show just because because I thought it was very boring and I'm not gonna lie to you guys like I do love JLo and I do love Shakira but I just thought it was like very boring yes it was kind of empowering but at the same time I just thought it was like really boring and I can't really help what I think I'm sorry so yeah that was pretty much all for this video 
I really hope that you guys enjoyed this like really random video. And like I said, it was inspired by Emma Chamberlain. So all credits to her. And I know she wore her hood up in her video, but that's not the reason why I'm wearing mine up. I'm only wearing mine up because I was in the mood to film a video and my hair just looked awful. I would show you guys my hair right now, but it's probably like out to here. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. And if you guys want me to make more videos like this where I just talk about like random topics, then definitely let me know down below in the comments because there's so much more that I could talk about. And also if you guys did like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications. You guys already know the drill. And with all that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Oh.